All right, Irvin Magic Johnson, the Magic Man. Uh, <laughs> some people, some people think that he's the greatest Laker of all time. I am not one of those people, no. but some people think he is the greatest Laker ever, and he's basketball royalty. He's Magic Johnson. Him and Larry Bird saved the NBA. You hear all the old heads talking. The NBA was on tape delay before Magic and Bird. You know, some people think Magic is the greatest player of all time. Well. Magic uh, routinely gets on the social media and posts stuff. And he recently declared that Beyonce is the greatest female entertainer of all time. Uh, so uh, these comments struck me as a bit interesting. Uh, this here says Magic Johnson declares Beyonce the greatest female entertainer of all time. Uh, Magic Johnson has left no doubts about where he stands in terms of his favorites in music, singling out Beyonce as his pick for the greatest entertainer ever among women. On Friday, which was March the 29th, soon after the release of Cowboy Carter, the NBA legend shared a photograph he took with Queen Bee a few years back, along with a heartfelt note about her excellence and legacy. Beyonce, it's only fitting that I recognize a living icon as the world tunes in to listen to your newest album, Cowboy Carter, which just dropped today, he wrote. <laughs> you are truly <laughs> you are truly <laughs> a multifaceted force with dominating presences as a singer, songwriter, director, actress, record producer, and entrepreneur. With over 160 million records sold, countless awards won, including a historical 32 Grammys, featured roles in eight movies, two fashion lines, and now a new hair care line. What? It's, impo it's, yeah, it's impossible to argue that your influence on culture is irreplaceable. Uh, the Lakers, the former Lakers guard concluded, you are women's history. Just like I say, Michael Jackson is the greatest male entertainer of all time. You are the greatest female entertainer of all time. I'm looking forward to seeing how you bring more representation into the country genre and continue to use your platform to uplift and amplify the black voice. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson thinks so very highly of Beyonce, greatest female entertainer of all time and spared no expense because he went so far as to list all of those aforementioned accolades, man. So uh, what do you make of uh, what Magic tweeted there? That was a tweet, right? Was that a tweet? I think it was a tweet. I feel I like that. No, that was on Instagram. That's too many characters for 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 Twitter or X. Wow. Uh, but yeah, what, what do you got to say, man? You got to be feeling him on this, right? You, you got to agree. Beyonce is the greatest entertainer. I'm being sarcastic, but <laughs> <laughs> you gotta agree. Beyonce is the greatest female entertainer of all time, right? You agree with Magic, right? Uh, no, whoa, whoa, hold on now. <laughs> uh, greatest entertainer that is debatable. The entertainer it is debatable, but um, I'm not just gonna give it to her. Uh, I, I gotta do some archive work. I didn't really think about that. I did put her up there as like, she's not a good singer. She's a good entertainer. But greatest of all time, I feel that's a little inflated. I don't know if I want to go say that. So I got to do some research on, you know what I'm saying, the past before I give her a, a, a nod on that. But, wow, you talk about a, a paid sponsor. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Like, that, is, that was the most non-authentic disingenuous <laughs> IG post I probably have ever heard bro like you talk about greatest of all time <laughs> that was like one of the greatest like troll jobs of all time there's no way anybody well I can no I'm sure no. People, some people read that <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people Do read that. Like, yes mm, don't, you know don't, don't take it for granted a lot of people believe that he wrote that number one and they also believe, <laughs> and they also agree agree with it. Absolutely. I mean, I didn't know if that was Magic Johnson or Shay Shay. That sounds like a Shay Shay <laughs> intro. <laughs> yeah, multi multi Grammy Award winner, <laughs> the greatest entertainer of all time. Yeah, all that stuff, man. That's it's the that's the same type of spill, man. Like no one talks like that. Um, so I was I was willing to. Um, I was willing to debate with him uh, if he really felt like that. He probably do, but 
like you said, he didn't write that. And that was just like very, that was a very disingenuous uh, message that I heard right there. So I can't, I can't say that I'm uh, agree with that. So yeah, I don't care for this paid uh, sponsorship. She needs to call, <laughs> she needs to call in reinforcements. Uh, this cowboy thing is a disaster for her. Now, some, some people may say that, oh, they may look at record things or whatever and whoop de whoops and billboard charts, even though I, I don't even know if it's how good it's doing there. But just how this whole thing rolled out, how it's being received, certain levels of pushback, she's never really received this. Her entire career, every time she drops something, it's always a steady incline or if it's if not a spike. This one, she's catching turbulence st uh, straight out of the terminal. So um, she needs to call in reinforcements to help clean up whatever the hell and make her seem like, you know, whatever, that we should be uh, enthusiastic about this disaster. I saw other images of her. Yeah, I saw other images of, of her doing the most cringeworthy cowboy. She's still wearing this hat. She's still going on with this persona, wearing cowboy assless chaps. Uh, she ain't show no cheeks, though. She just showed, like, side angle. So I was like, you're, you're even teasing here. So I was like, look, look, woman, I've had enough of this. So um, yeah, I can't I can't get behind this rollout. I really I'm not the biggest Beyonce fan, if as you can tell, but at the same time, I'm an objective person. And if somebody did something the right way, I cannot like what you do or what you stand for and still go, that was a hell of a rollout. I can see why so many people fell for that. But this, I think people aren't falling for it, hence paying for magic johnson to, to to unmute and say this ridiculousness so i'm pretty sure there's going to be more people out here uh parroting uh these kind of talking points because i think uh this level of um brainwashing um and at this point in her career where she actually kind of has receipts like i said it's arguable from a person that don't, is not even really a fan so if she can push this narrative, much like how the LeBron is he, as good as Jordan narrative got, you know, promoted and pumped uh, every day on TV to the point where it carried over to basketball courts and, and uh, barbershops. If they continue this, uh, I think this would be a healthy campaign for them, uh, for people that really start just throwing her up there. It's like, you know what? She's the greatest entertainer of all time. And it's going to be hands down, much like how people hands down that Jay-Z is the greatest rapper alive. Which is to me, sir, is debatable. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I'm just teasing. But what are your thoughts, man? How do you feel about Miss uh, Miss Carter, Cowboy Carter, getting an endorsement from Sir Magic? It is debatable. Um, but you're also talking to somebody who believes Kobe Bryant is the second greatest basketball player of all time. Boy, so trust me. Today, yeah. So, 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 so trust me, uh, a dissenting opinion does not offend me one way or the other. I don't that's give right. a damn. Um, right. And now you use the word endorsement and that's very, very apropos. Uh, that is perhaps the perfect word to use to describe what's going on here. This to me read like an endorsement of a political candidate. Yeah, yeah. It was carefully crafted, clearly written by a publicist or a PR person, mm -hmm. and it was posted to his page on his behalf. Mm -hmm. And that's the part about this that to me, even if you do agree with the sentiment of the message, you got to roll your eye. Like if you read the if you read that post wow. and you don't roll your eyes because of how contrived it is, then you truly can't tell what's real from what's fake anymore when it comes to this Internet stuff and this social media stuff. He did not write that. Now, for all we know, he does agree. But Magic Johnson is a man who at this point clearly based upon his social media activity, one can surmise is for sale. He will allow he will allow his social media platforms to be used for any reasonable purposes so long as he receives the kickback that he's looking for. Does he agree with the fact, does he agree with the idea that Beyonce is the greatest of entertain, female entertainer of all time? Maybe, but my thing is, I don't know how he really feels because he didn't write that shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He didn't, he didn't write that. Whoever, whoever he, whoever he, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, out, whoever he outsources his social media accounts to wrote that on his behalf. And it looks and reads the same way that a political endorsement reads, mm -hmm. which is fake as hell. Mm -hmm. 
That's how it reads. Like, mm -hmm. whether he feels that way about Beyonce or not, this reads fake as shit. It reads so fake. Like, listing off all the credentials and the and the and the including 29 or a record 29 like it reads like someone wrote that where he getting like that where he wouldn't yeah, like, look that up <laughs> yeah. like if Ma if magic johnson was on espn first take that would be the equivalent of him saying hey stat person bring me these stats and then he reads the stats on national tv mm -hmm. or if he was a polit if he was a political candidate his speechwriter wrote that and he just read what his speechwriter wrote like it, it's not coming from a place of being genuine. And so because the foundation of these comments are rooted in like fakeness, I can't take them seriously. Now, if we want to debate whether I agree with you, I think it's arguable that she is the greatest female entertainer ever because she clearly the metric supported. You yeah. know, her fans, the shows, all yeah. of that. Yeah. She goes crazy. You know, when yeah. she did the Super Bowl halftime show, she does, she moves units. Yeah. She yeah. moves yeah. units. So it's arguable that she's the greatest female entertainer ever. But my point is, if you were to actually talk to Magic Johnson about that, he wouldn't know. And I can't, like, and maybe he does, but the re, but the, the carefully crafted aspect or the the nature of these comments of his which are so carefully crafted so pr driven so written pre-prepared by a publicist or a speech writer i don't know how he actually really feels about her as an entertainer i just know what his publicist told him to say basically and this is so weird and my thing is these kinds of, and magic this isn't the first time mind you Whenever Magic Johnson tweets or does anything on social media, this is how it reads. I don't know what his real opinion on anything is. <laughs> <laughs> because that's actually, kind, all, of, that's actually they, kind of smart now that I think about it. <laughs> they all read this way. <laughs> he, he's, uh, a, he's a he's a he's a he's a retired basketball politician. Yeah. That's what he is. Yeah. Like I don't know how he really feels about any of this stuff because all of his stuff reads like this. That's actually kind just of super carefully crafted. That <laughs> must have went through ten different proofreaders before the person before the person who manages accounts actually put it on there and hit the send button. Because you know he didn't do it. Yeah. Someone else manages his accounts, has all of his logins and his passwords, and once it went through 10, 15 different revisions and proof proofreaders, then that person got it put it in the Instagram, found a photo somewhere on Getty and hit yeah. send. You know what it's, I'm saying? Yeah. Like what this fake. And so I don't know. I guess my main takeaway from all this is why put any stock in these comments when you know that they're fake, even if they, even if the comments themselves you agree with, you might be the biggest Beyonce stand in the world and think that she is the greatest female entertainer of all time. But these comments are such BS like they were written by someone who doesn't manage his stuff, doesn't write any of this. You don't know how he feels about any of this stuff. I guarantee you, mm -hmm. I guarantee you mm -hmm. that if someone wanted to post on Magic John, like let's say something happened that was noteworthy with Taylor Swift. And, and somebody wanted to use Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson's Instagram as a place to put something like that, but about Taylor Swift and not Beyonce. You'll see the same thing, the same thing. Because he's for sale. He's a billboard. He's like a NASCAR driver. Now, there, there's other people in his position who say stuff, but you can read it and tell he this guy wrote this. Mm -hmm. And even if even if it's so carefully crafted from from a grammar and syntax standpoint that maybe you can surmise he himself or she herself didn't actually write it you at least know that they played a heavy hand in the message itself mm -hmm. this reads like a political speech so it's just the fakeness that i don't like about it this it, to me i don't even get if you want to say me i don't know like i would say taylor swift fans have an argument to make on that I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing Taylor Swift fans would love to debate who's greater between her and Beyonce all time. I, I, I can't, that's not even close. But um, they will though, they'll debate it. My point is they are willing oh, to have yeah. a conversation oh, about Colt that. versus Colt. Hey. Yeah, I, I'm, it, yeah, it, I, I'm saying group versus group. So yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Beyonce's <laughs> Beehive versus yeah. Taylor Swift's Swifties. Yeah. Those two can have a debate off.
Yeah. Who's the greatest female entertainer of all time? So it's not definitive. Mm-hmm. But uh, the, you know, when somebody, a celebrity, one of these weirdo celebrities, wants to come in there, and I got respect for Magic. I got love. I love the NBA. I know NBA history. I got love for Magic. But since he's gotten on social media, he's seen more like a politician and less than a and less of a real person. That's smart. And that's and that's why I can't get down with this. And so for any of these people, for any of y'all out there who cling to these celebrities and their social media platforms, understand how to read this stuff and tell what's real from what's fake. At the end of the day, we don't really know how Magic Johnson feels about Beyonce. I'm sure he appreciates her, but that was such an over-the-top, carefully crafted, pre-written, political, speech-like post. I, I just can't take it seriously. Yeah, man. The uh... His page, that's it's a smart, that's smart, bro. I because you know, magic, he's liable to say anything. <laughs> you know, he you know what I'm saying? He's a cool dude and he's smart, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, he could probably um he's not like Charles Barkley, but he can say the wrong thing. He can say the wrong thing. And so for him to have a PR department, it's what we asked Meek Mill to do. It's what we asked Tyrese to do. I was gonna I was gonna bring that up. Magic yeah. Johnson is the extreme it's opposite extreme. Of, oh, yeah. of what we of what we think Meek Mill and Tyrese need to be doing. Yeah, like if, if Meek Mill and Tyrese are on one side of the seesaw, then mm-hmm. what you got with magic is the other side of the seesaw. Uh, Mm -hmm. the answer is somewhere in the middle. (laughs) It isn't to be on one extreme or the other. And Magic is just on the other extreme. Yeah, if if Magic wrote that, it'd be, I'm Magic Johnson, y'all. You know, hee hee, and then uh, (laughs) Beyonce's the greatest of all time. You know, it's like, what the hell is that? But honestly, it would have been harder if he just came out and said, you know what, debate me. Beyonce, greatest of all, greatest entertainer of all time. That would have worked harder. Yeah. People would have been like, oh, but when, when it comes off like this, see, this this is kind of similar. This is a ploy a tactic. I don't like this. <laughs> and this is my thing. Beyonce didn't have to do this before. That's my point. She didn't have to do this. Solicit. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is my apartment complex. Clearly got a sign up front. No solicitation. And I still got a damn Chinese thing menu when I come home. Yo, what y'all coming here for? Soliciting. So, same thing, man. This is unsolicited. I didn't ask for this. But, you know, she needed it this time. She needs positive PR. You know? <clears throat> Another thing, too, is with all these allegations swirling everywhere and stuff like this, people's public images right now are wild. Everything's ambiguous and people are questioning everything and everyone. So the the better the PR, the better your name is, the you know, all that. I think all of these components are all in play when it comes to this. So uh, yeah, Beyonce never had to do this before. She would drop an album randomly, you know what I'm saying, on the streets. You know what I'm saying? People would find out word of mouth. You know, I'm at Walmart. I'm working. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing. All the girls is going crazy. Oh my god, Beyonce didn't drop the album. She ain't tell nobody. Oh my god, it's out. And then, you know, she didn't need magic for that. So, <laughs> so for me, this is this is sign this is signs that a hey, uh you know we had to call in reinforcements. It's, you know, <laughs> it don't look good for her. Uh, but this but this is no different than the little kind of game that old boy played uh in the last topic we talked about, where it's just any pub is good pub. But now I'll go ahead and you know entertain that uh question. You know, is she the greatest female entertainer of all time? We can, we can debate that. You know, uh, so yeah, uh, people in the comment section, man, let us know. You know, what do you have Beyonce ranked as far as entertainers? Now, singers, she's not even in my top 10. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that established. All right. But as far as entertainers, you know, dancing around, twerking it up, you know what I'm saying? Clapping her ass and running around stage and still be able to hold her breath, even though she can't sing, she's still singing, though. You know, that, that's all skill. She does that. So um, I'm not taking that away from her. That's why I got her high up on that thing. She's like very athletic. You know what I'm saying? She she can dunk. She can do all this other stuff. She But she can't really hit a three and play, you know, real basketball to save her life. You know what I'm saying? But she's hella entertaining. You know? 
So um, I'll give her that. So we can debate that. And um, right now, uh, I'm just going to naturally slot her in at two until I find somebody else. <laughs> but what do you guys think, man? <laughs> remember rem- remember when we talked about uh, 50 Cent and he had, he was mad because the NAACP Image Awards mm-hmm. didn't nominate Raising Canaan, one of his murder death kill shows for, mm-hmm. for, for an award. And one of the comments that you made was, you were talking about Method Man and Mary J. Blige, and you were like, you could tell that they were acting. Yeah. And, and, and when you can tell that a person is acting, that means they're not acting well. <laughs> right. Right. So, so the way I feel about this thing that Magic put out there, because mm-hmm. you mentioned how people's public personas are being highly scrutinized, and so the need for good, effective PR mm-hmm. is is a big deal. Mm-hmm. And I agree with that. That is a priority. But my thing is. It needs to be good PR. When right. I can read something and I can tell that it's PR, it ain't right. good PR. It, it, it ain't good PR. Very and I, I, I'm reading this post, and I can. It looks like someone wrote him a speech to 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 give at some kind of a rally somewhere. That to me is ineffective, in terms of. PR, if you want to use that expression, you know, if, if somebody was my speechwriter and they wrote me this thing and I'm reading it and I can literally, I, I can't present it in such a way that doesn't make it sound like someone wrote this thing down as a speech, then either it's a poorly written speech or I'm poor at actually delivering the speech. Either mm-hmm. way, we need to figure something out because it ain't mm-hmm. going to work. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and when I'm reading the stuff that he puts out, to me, it's so inauthentic and it just bleeds PR to the point where I can't take it seriously. And I therefore can't take the contents of the message seriously. I can't do it. So, you know, like I said, my biggest takeaway from a lot of this is inauthenticity needs to be scrutinized. Yes. And, and what we got going on right now is as long as the message fits your personal ideology, a lot of people will disregard the inauthenticity of the message itself. So it's like, I, I love Beyonce and I do think she's the second greatest or the greatest female entertainer of all time. So even though this speech is complete and utter BS, I love it because I agree with it. When it's like, no, let's let's scrutinize this for being inauthentic because we can't have people getting away with being inauthentic. Right. You know, but hey, that's me being on my high horse and 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 demanding standards in places where our society has dictated we no longer need them. So maybe this maybe the joke is on me. Maybe it's my fault. Hey, well, the last thing I'll say is the the, the publicity worked again. Uh, <laughs> it, just like the last dude, you know, it worked to the point to where it is going to become a you know a more debatable talking point, which. People like myself is just going to go. Hmm, well, it's not like we got an <laughs> extensive history of this, right, and yeah. you know, and they start doing the metrics in their brain, and they're going to go, well, "Who is?" And and by just doing that, she done she done hierarchy in your brain. Now. Yeah. So it's a very clever thing, clever thing, and I think it's a degree of it where we don't care, and <laughs> yeah. you're going to hear all of this. Yeah. Because it's gonna seep in there somehow that you know she got those twenty nine whatevers, right? And yeah. yeah, it's like, come on, magic, yeah. bro. But hey, bro, look at that smile. He gonna do this. <laughs> 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 yeah, that boy getting. I don't. I don't know how much he made to put that out there, but I'm pretty sure it was a nice little chunk of change. It know? had some commas in it, bro. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. However much it, because. And the thing is, people really believe that this was genuine. And that's the part that has me rolling my eyes. Like, y'all really fall for any damn thing out here, yo. For real. Hey, um, hey Beyonce's camp, man. Hit me up, man. I'll send a positive <laughs> endorsement, man. I'll take half of what Magic did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, probably take a, I'll probably take a quarter of what he took. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Man. You the greatest yeah. of all time, baby. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll say anybody the greatest ever. You can get me to say LeBron is the greatest ever for the right amount of money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey man, look, you want to give you want to you want to give me seven digits, right? You you want to write me a check that has seven <laughs> integers just to say LeBron is the greatest player ever? Give it to me. I got all day. You got no, you got to keep, but you got to keep up the stick though. I will, yeah, I will. Because <laughs> unlike Magic, I write my own stuff. Uh, <laughs> It is what it is, man. But get out of here, man. I'm not with you on this magic or whoever wrote that. 
Um, yeah. But Cher, Celine Dion, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of different camps that can debate that. Not mm -hmm. saying that any one of them is right or wrong. I'm just saying it's debatable. It's the, hey, man, you don't know how far back this goes, man. That's what I'm like, saying. I got to do my yeah. research, bro. I ain't yeah. going to just jump off yeah. the porch. Like from, from, from what I know, you know, Cher or the Celine Dion and people with them residencies in Las Vegas, and they've been doing this for decades, they go hammer for some people. So, mm -hmm. you know, but whatever. Get out of here with these fake ass speeches. Yeah. And let us know in the comment section, guys. And like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Come on. Man. Yeah. Sheesh. Don't piss off a lot of Beyonce fans. I know that. All right. Come on. They love <laughs> us, man. We love y'all. <laughs>